together where I'm being Svetlana in the summer of 2021 we packed our dogs in the car and uh, made our way to Greece to start our new life as liverboards on a sailboat this is our journey I hope you enjoy it and please like and subscribe been a bear of a project so far so thankfully I've only managed to snap one bolt here and one bolt here so we're on day two of this engine service that is turning into a bit of a rabbit hole and um, as usual I've covered the table with plastic bags and masking tape to try and uh, save it from all the oil and what have you. There isn't a lot of oil on this piece, that's good. So this is an aluminium casting and um, as I was trying to show you last night before the battery ran out, these are the end caps and I've cleaned them out but can you see how pink it is? And that's, um, that's galvanic corrosion. So I've got to get these as clean as possible. There's a crack there as well, which isn't good. Um, and these have obviously been leaking for a while because you can see here, this is, this is where it's been weeping. So, um, yeah, let me just get in and show you the end of this. So this is the end of the heat exchanger and these fit on here and it's supposed to be a, a flush fit but that means this has got to be absolutely clean and you can see here it's not, it's, it, there's, a, there's a gap there. So I need to get that flat right the way around. Um, you can see the corrosion in here and the crud and the bits of um, seal that are st is still there, the rubber seat, rubber gasket. So all this lot's got to be cleaned off. And then on the other side, if I turn this around, it's even worse, if it can be believed, because on here, this piece is raised and there's this piece here which is basically corroded away um, and again so I've got to try and get this flat all the way across so that it gets a good seal so I've got some uh, metal putty which is high temperature um, just to try and fill this little gap here um, and I'm gonna to have to get in with a Dremel and just do as best I can to clean all this crap up um, again a little bit of leaking going on here somewhere so I need to try and take a look at that and clean that up and work out what's going on there um, they don't make these anymore so I can't get a replacement or if I can it's going to be difficult so I'm going to have to try and get this as clean as I can before we put it back. I've rotted through all of these tubes and they're all actually not bad at all. So it's just the end that just needs cleaning up a little bit. So we'll uh, we'll get on with that and uh, see what happens. Um, I've got as many tools as I can out because we've got the bolt, this bolt here that needs drilling out. And there's a bolt here that needs drilling out as well because uh, I managed to snap them. That's because they're steel bolts on an aluminium head, so uh, it's notorious for that sort of thing. The fact I've only snapped two is, to my mind, a win. So, yeah, got to really uh, have a go at it. And uh, yeah, I need to deal with this little crack as well. Although it looks as though it's just internal there, uh, so it's not too bad. Not too bad. So, 
Yeah. Lots to do. Lots to do. Now might be a good time to hit the thumbs up button if you could. Uh, it really helps the YouTube algorithm which in turn helps our channel and it doesn't cost anything so I would much appreciate it. Okay, so still a bit of a way to go on this, but this is what I've noticed. It's cracked here, and the crack runs along into there and up here. So that is going to weak water. So we need to fill that at least. There's still a little bit of debris to take out of here. I'm using a carburetor cleaner and. Uh, combination of uh, steel and brass brushes uh, with a Dremel with, a, with a, a steel brush on the end of it so it is coming uh, but it's going to take a while obviously there will be easier ways of doing this but I'm using the tools I've got so uh, and bear in mind I've never done this before so I'm a bit of a newbie at it so, yeah, um, I think normally what you do is immerse this in a bath of some form of acid, but I haven't got any, so it's not easy to do really. It's blowing a hoolie out here today. Right, so this is cured overnight with this liquid metal. Uh, so this is where that big corroded piece was. And it is now looking pretty solid. So I've put some high temperature uh, sealant into the bolt holes because with having re-drilled and re-tapped it uh, I just want to make sure that there's no possibility of any water leaking out of there and if we turn it over to the other side this is the worst one because although the casing wasn't as cracked there was a crack down here which is now filled in nicely. But I've had to use this bolt because, oh, just tapping that, drilling that bolt out was a pain in the neck. So it's got a massive bolt in it. And I've filled that with, again, red high temperature sealant. So hopefully that will do the job. Uh, yeah, these are bloody expensive, so. Um, yeah, we'll just have to see what happens now. So I've got to clean up this on here. Uh, this hose is going to blow, I think, fairly soon. So I'm going to need to uh, get a replacement for that because this is nice and solid. And you get to this bit and it's really soft you can see where it's starting to balloon out so that is going to go we'll put it on for now while the new just to test it and then when the new uh, hose arrives i'll uh, replace it <laughs> good job i caught it so the old color here is starting to corrode so best thing for that is vinegar and uh, that will just you see it's already starting to turn black so 
so it just kills the rust and then I'll wash it off with uh, clean water and uh, hopefully that should stop it I've caught it in time I hope we'll see I think it's because the um, heat exchanger was leaking and it's probably been spraying onto it I don't know um, it's obviously down here you can see where it's corroded here and onto the uh, thing here so I painted it all basically with vinegar just to get rid of any potential rust uh, as we go through so the next next job is to start to look at the wiring and get that sorted uh, so looks like I'm gonna have to be ordering some new hoses I should have ordered them before but never mind we'll get all new hoses through and then uh, we know everything's tight then so I'll order those tomorrow uh, and uh, yeah Hmm. Okay, so last minute, just came to turn the seacock on and noticed this cable, this wire, which was sort of wrapped around that bolt there. This nut, I've just found another nut for it, but uh, yeah, that's not going to do anything, is it? And I think this is an earth bond. It looks like an earth bond. So needs uh, fixing quick so I'm much happier with that connection than I was before
The engine's back together, the heat exchanger is back in. The caps at the end of the heat exchanger, that was the bit I was most worried about, they're not leaking. So the engine got up to temperature. Um, so that's good. Um, there is a leaking hose, but it looks as though it's original to the engine. So it's I was going to replace that anyway. So that's my job tomorrow is to go to Lefkus and order replacement hoses for um, basically all of them because I think they're all original that's good so tomorrow's job is going to be changing the oil um, which shouldn't be a big job after and after that uh, I think we need a bit of a sea trial obviously can't do a sea trial till I've got the bolt for the windlass which hasn't arrived yet so I only ordered it Friday so it's going to be a little yeah another week or so Okay, so I put the cover back on because it was becoming a pain getting in and out of the boat. It's sufficiently back together now. All change is done. Um, I've got to deal with this so that I don't get a fire with these things dropping on the engine. Um, this here uh, was leaking, so I need to. I put some more liquid metal on it. I'm going to put some more on. Uh, now because it's uh, it's cured enough for me to do that um, and then just as a precaution although the back isn't leaking I'm going to do the same with this at the back and, and put some more liquid metal on there uh, just to make absolutely double sure that we don't get any leaks everything's sufficiently back together that we can run the engine but I do know we've got a couple of weak hoses uh, so I don't want to be doing any serious mileage until we've got that sorted and I've still got the bilge to clean as well uh, but I just wanted to be able to get up and down the companionway really so um, this section here is still open so I've got access here to put some more liquid metal on where the leak is and if need be I can loosen the uh, alternator again to do that. Um, this pipe here, the overflow pipe, it should come down here and through but uh, the end of it is cracked away so I've had to shorten it but that is one of the pipes that is on order uh, and right now as it is that's straight so there's no obstructions in the pipe no kinks in the pipe to stop it so uh, hopefully that will uh, keep us going until the, the new hose arrives Okay, so I've run it up to temperature, and the temperature is looking good, but if I put my hand under there, I was feeling a little bit of moisture. Uh, it seems alright. Yeah, we can't go very far on the engine, but we can go, so that's good. Uh, the smoke that I was seeing before is you know, very much reduced. 
so that's good. Uh, I've got a little bit of a leak on the exhaust gasket as well. Um, but I'm thinking when the new hoses come, I'm going to basically take it off, seal it. Uh, I've still got to put a new gasket in there anyway. So I'll put a new gasket in that. Um, and uh, put it all back together when the new hoses are here. And we should be okay. And I might, when I've got this off completely, again, put some more liquid metal around it uh, I've just got to make sure that I leave enough gap for the hoses to clamp because at the back here this hose to the turbo here um, was leaking and it's because it's not mating up fully because the liquid metal had sort of pushed it away so I have to make sure I drive all that out so we don't put too much on but overall, at least we've got a running engine again. Next job will be when she comes out of the water, uh, where I've got to do the stuffing gland on the prop shaft. And uh, I'll check the um, earth bonding at the same time. Uh, so, but that's going to be probably March time um, again. Just getting the funds together to do it, really, more than anything else. So, yeah, uh, just put everything back together and uh, finish editing up this week's video with a cup of tea, because you're going to have a cup of tea. And, uh, and then that'll be it for today, I think. <laughs>